Hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a shit one. I don't have my big light on today because I just feel like editing with these lights. Anyway, today um, I wanted to edit this picture. It's night time, it's raining, and I'm shooting a tram. If you've watched any of my POV videos, I get bullied about shooting trams because I love shooting trams. And I'm gonna continue to shoot trams because I think they're great subjects. And they're everywhere here in Melbourne. I mean, you can't walk around the city without seeing one. But first things first, I'm just gonna straighten up this image because it's been pissing me off. It's on a slight angle here. I'm gonna start here on the tone curve. I'm gonna bring my highlights up here. I'm gonna bring my shadows down. And I'm gonna do the same with these colors. I'm gonna make an S curve. I'm gonna make an S curve in all my colors here. And before we actually go anywhere, I'm gonna take all the contrast out of the image. The reason why I'm taking all the contrast out is because when you do this, it's already looks really contrasty. And just so I can get a better idea of how it's gonna look. So I can play around with the tone curve a bit more, you know? So you want all of these curves to be matching up. And see how I've got a bit more of a green tinge now? So I don't want that. I think I'm more, I want more of like a, a blue tinge more than anything. So there you go. I just need to bring the greens down a little bit. So it's just like, it's a little bit of fine tuning going back and forth between all the curves. So already, like I haven't even touched anything else on the image and it's already made quite a big difference from that to that. Temperature, that's gonna come down, mate. Mate, you're not watching one of my tutorials without bringing down your temperature towards the blues. Okay, I'm gonna go for a bit more of a hazy look for this whole edit, so I'm gonna bring some clarity out. Some people don't like the clarity out, um, and if you don't like it, you can just fuck off, stop watching this tutorial, because I don't care if you don't like it. <laughs> when you're editing your photo, you can keep your clarity whatever you want it to be, but I'm gonna take clarity out of the image because I'm trying to make this look like a glowy, dreamy effect, okay? I'm rolling my sleeves up, shit's getting fucking serious. A lot of editing, I've said this heaps of times, nobody knows what the fuck they're doing, okay? E even if you have an explanation for why you do it, you still don't need to do it that way. I feel like with editing an image, editing a video, photoshopping something, there's like, there's always another way to do something, I feel. So if it works for you a certain way, that's great, just do it your way. I don't really have an explanation for a lot of ways I wanna edit. Um, I'm sort of just going with the flow. I just know I wanna make like a sort of glowy, dreamy effect and I'm gonna bring some blues and I'm gonna bring some purples into this image and that's it and then and then the rest of it is just sort of playing around with your sliders and moving things ever so slightly like look look at the difference this makes compared to that and in my opinion that's not a very big move from that to that but it makes a huge difference I guess I can talk you through what I'm currently seeing with the image so what I'm seeing is a lot of different colors that are clashing together right now. And I can see the sky up here. It's very dark blue up, up the top here. And I don't like the way that it's that dark. So immediately, and I think it's just like fixing one thing at a time until you're happy with how the image looks. So with the blues up here, they're, they're not to my liking, okay, in the sky. So we're gonna try and start fixing that. And then once I feel like I'm happy with that, I'm gonna start working on other parts of the image. I think with my style of editing, it's very selective. I like to select certain things on the image and just get to work on there until I've built something together on my edit, if that makes sense. I think that makes sense. I think that's how I edit. I don't know. Okay, so purples play a big part in this as well. We're gonna bring the purples over to the blues. I'm pretty sure I do this every single time I edit a night image. I bring the purples over to the blues. Okay, also right now, before I even go ahead and fix this, I'm just looking at my image. I'm looking at it right now. I'm, I'm looking at the subject, which is a tram, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, why, why is it so chaotic right now to look at? And that's because everything else around the image, including the tram, is really bright. So now we're gonna bring our first selective adjustment into the image, which is our graduator filter. I'm gonna drag that up somewhere to there, and I'm gonna bring the exposure down, about a stop. This is a cool little trick as well. You can go into the brush tool in the graduator filter, I've mentioned this quite a few times in a lot of my other editing tutorials, but I like to edit this way, so I'm gonna go into the brush while I'm in the graduator filter, and I'm gonna open up my brush size here. I can even tick this box here. That's gonna show me what else my graduator filter is gonna start affecting, which is everything down here except for the tram. And even while you're in the brush tool, if you make a mistake and go like, oh, fuck me, that's a big, big ass, it's a stomper mistake. Okay, how, am I, how will I ever mentally recover from this mistake? You can hold Option, and that's your eraser of your brush tool in the graduator filter, and you can just erase what you don't want, okay? 
Let's untick that box. And right here, we've brought, we, we've brung. Oh my God. <laughs> right here, we've brought so much more focus into the image already. But wait, there's more. I like looking at this box here as well. Cause it's kind of like looking at the image from a distance, even just standing up or going sitting back and looking at the image from a distance can help you see what your eye is being taken away from. Because for this picture, I want people to look at my tram, okay? That's what the image is. It's like, look at my tram. This is a tram that I went and photographed in the city. Look at my tram, okay? I don't want people to be like, oh, look at this guy's little lunchbox back here. If I wanted, if I wanted that to be the image, I would have fucking cropped it like that. Not even, like that. Okay, if that's what I wanted people to look at. That's not what I want people to look at. I want people to look at my tram. Okay? I think that's something important to ask yourself when you're editing a photo, okay? And even if you're slapping a preset on it and calling it a day, it's still important to, when you do apply a preset to an image, what is it that you want people to look at in this photo? Is there more I can add to this photo? I'm quite happy with that tip, actually. That's a great tip, Mike. Well done. Okay, next, I think I want to get rid of some of the color in these trees here. So I'm gonna go over with a brush tool here and I'm gonna desaturate it a little bit. <clears throat> a little bit. I think my voice is breaking. I think I'm going through puberty for like the 18th time. You know, I could start growing a beard when I was 14. How fucked is that, man? Here's a picture of me when I was 14. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come to my saturation here and like split toning. It's just very, very tiny amount that makes a difference, okay? Let's just bring in 10% and see what that starts to do. And can you see here, okay, let's just bring in the saturation more so you can understand what I'm doing, okay? If I go through the hue here, you see how the color starts to mix a bit different? Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna come over here to the aqua and I'm gonna bring my saturation down, down a little bit more, a little bit more, down a bit more, down a little bit more. If you're new to it, it doesn't really matter, okay? Like this is sort of very much more complex thing that I do. Okay, you know what? I think I need my shadows to come down. Yeah, that's what needs to be done, okay. Shadows need to come down, and I'm gonna get my brush tool, and I'm literally gonna brush over the top of the tram here, the whole top of the tram. Basically, just make an arc over the tram here, everything except of it, and bring some clarity out of it, and push the highlights up, and I'm gonna bring my temperature across a bit more to the blues, okay. That's what it needed this whole time. It just needed the shadows to come down, I think. You can look here at the history, okay? Editing, is like construction. You're sort of just building and building onto your image until you're happy with something. You know, not every single one of my edits get, gets this much treatment. You know, sometimes I just wanna edit a little bit, especially if I'm making like a point of view video and I'm just trying to get like the picture across to show like somewhat of the idea of what I was shooting. But if I feel like editing an image for a, a day, then I'm just gonna sit here and edit. There's always more things you can add to your picture. And I could honestly say it's done right now, you know? If you either skip to the end of this video or you just cannot be fucked editing that much, I do actually have lots of presets for sale. If you wanna get this effect, you just chuck a preset on if you don't feel like going through all that effort. But also, if you wanna download the presets, you can reverse engineer them to understand how they work and maybe that can help you teach you more about Adobe Lightroom. And speaking of teaching you about Adobe Lightroom, when you download the preset pack, it also comes with Lightroom tutorials that teach you about Lightroom, not just how to apply the preset, which there is a, which there is a tutorial going through every single one of the presets, but there is also extra tutorials about how to use Lightroom, like how to use the tone curve, how to use the HSL colors, how to use the split toning, all that kind of stuff. So if you wanna get those, you can head over to streamline.store or you can click the link in my description there to download yourself a pack. All right, it just occurred to me that I completely forgot to sign off the video in that last recording. I just wanted to say thank you for watching the video and I hope I taught you something new about editing your night photos. I would actually love to see your edits as well for your night images. So why don't you go ahead, tag me at North Borders on Instagram so then I can check out your night photos as well. Yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below or help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, have a shit one and I will see you in the next one. I'm in my underwear, by the way. Okay, don't fucking laugh at me. I hope it's out of focus, actually.